Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this uh, really quick video, we're going to show you how to fix an issue of playing full screen videos in Media Player Classic Home Cinema. I'm using a 64 bit version, it's one of the later versions that has the LAV codex. So, really quickly, we're going to go over a couple of options. So, I've got my Media Player, I'm, I'm running on Windows 7 here, 64 bit also. If I go here to view and options, I have here, uh, I want to store things to any file. Under output, I selected my direct sound and high definition audio. And I've changed this to by cubic, but I didn't change anything else. I just went all the way down here to the bottom and grabbed that because I hoped it was the best. Um, I don't know if these really have much of an effect. I have all the formats grabbed by it, so this is my media player. Um, then the one thing that's important here is if I go here to internal filters and I go to video decoder, there's this box here, and normally it comes out like this. And when I tried to play a National Geographic DVD that I had, it covered the Appalachian Trail and the Pacific Crest Trail, it wouldn't play full screen. Until I click this again, it's empty, and click it again, put a check mark in it, and then it played full screen. So that's the first thing that you want to check. That'll solve some of your problems, but not all of them. The other thing you're going to find is if I go here to open disc, I've got a Monster Quest Season 1 DVD in here. Now it's going to look right first, so I've got to change something to kind of give you an idea of how it normally looks. So this is a default what it looks like. And I was very frustrated because I got a 1920 by 1080 TV and I got this little box here. And how am I supposed to fix that, you know? I don't know what to do about that. How to fix it, how to address it. If I play the uh, show, it doesn't fill up the screen. And uh, I just played with this a little bit, and I just found out now, and I'm showing it to you. If I go to video frame, I don't mess with any of these settings. I don't want to mess with the aspect ratio. If I go to video frame, and I go down here to touch window from outside, I see that now I filled up the entire screen. And now if I go a little further, there's a man up here talking. We need a we need a picture that has some detail we can go with here. Give me a minute, I'll try and find a good I had one where it was a guy sitting there. Okay, hold on a minute. All over North America. Okay, so we've got this little corner of a plant. We're well above his head. We got the base of the statue here. We got the space here. We got this little thing here in his chair. If I go here to video frame back to touch window from inside, which shrinks it down, you'll see that we didn't lose anything. We still got all the same spaces. So that is the other thing that you can do to fix this. That's your solution. And once you've done this, and you have it saved settings to any, everything should be saved, and that should allow you to play your DVDs in full screen. I uh, hope this helps, and that's it for now. Thanks for watching.